to you. Let's rock and roll. Everybody attention, yes sir. Yep, you're recording. Okay, bow, courtesy. Hey, position, sir. Student agreed number one. I develop myself physically and mentally based on the spirit of personal achievement. Number two, I will only fight to defend my life and the lives of others. And number three, I achieve my fullest potential in developing knowledge, honesty, and strength. What's your goal? Black belt excellence, sir. Everybody attention, yes, sir. Bow courtesy. All right, so um, who is in? I know a couple of you guys look like you were in leadership class with us yesterday. A couple of you were in leadership class yesterday with us. A couple of you guys, what I love about this uh, opportunity. Now, we can talk a little bit. By the way, while we're doing this, let's get running in place. Let's get one done. While I'm chatting with you guys a little bit, everybody start running, start running in place, okay? We can use this opportunity with extra time on our hands to get some more training in. I know I was talking to Miss Ella McGregor who earned her black belt today. By the way, let's give all those people who graduated to their new belts today a big round of applause. Congratulations. I see Mr. Leon, he's rocking his new belts and you guys and they're very cool. But some of you guys, like Miss Beth and Miss Ella, and some people are taking almost all of our classes we're off right now. So you guys are taking a bunch of classes rather than just one or two. That's phenomenal, guys. That's how you get to be better, is you put in that extra time. If you got time, just put in the time, right? So nice and fast, pick those knees up a little bit higher. Keep those nunchucks in your hand. We're gonna keep them together for this one to start. A little bit faster, a little bit faster. Go, when I say jump, you're gonna jump up and yell black, go nice and loud, ready and jump. Black belt. Good, master comes soon. Keep running fast. Ready? And jump. Black belt. One more time. One more time. Jump 360. Spin this time. Ready? And jump. Black belt. All right. Keep moving with it. Ready? Jump and spin the other way this time. Ready? And jump. Black belt. Good. Keep running. Keep running. We're going to be working some round kicks today for our sparring. And we're going to be working our nunchucks, obviously. Then to get back into the swing of it a little bit. So everybody back to tension. Yes, sir. Bow courtesy. All right, you guys, we're working nunchucks for the first time in about nine months for some of you. So let's get into the swing of how we're going to be using our nunchucks. Just use them one today. Okay, from here, we're going to just remember our rule that if you drop your weapon, you have to do one push-up today. Okay? Just one. As we get through our nunchuck cycle, if you drop it, it might go up to five or ten or something like that. But today it's just going to be one. All right, so we're going to start running in place again. Now start tightening your nunchucks and tossing them hand to hand. Hand to hand. What happens if you toss it off to the side? you got to do a push up thing, people. Keep going. Keep going. We're working on that dexterity, that coordination. Good. You got to challenge yourself a little bit. Now go like this. This is easy. Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, I didn't see a push-up. I saw a drop, but not a push-up. No cheating. All right, pick your knees up. Pick them up. Pick them up. Pick them up. We got five. Come on. Four. Three. Holy cow. Two. One. Back to attention. Yes, sir. Awesome. Okay. We're going into jumping jacks now. We're going to pass them from hand to hand. Hand to hand. Ready? Go. And those jumping hands. There you go. And again, if they go flying on you, you owe me a push-up. Keep it going. Come on. Keep it up. Ten more. One. Come on. Come on. Eight. Nine. Ten. Done, sir. All right, when you are done with your ten, keeping those nunchucks together. We haven't even opened them up yet. We'll keep them closed. We're going to do some lunges. So from the standing position, keep your back straight. You're going to lunge out. You're going to take your chucks and you're going to hand it underneath that leg. Come back up. Lunge out. Bend your knees. Hand it through. Ready? Go. Lunge it out. Bend the knees. Now, no leaning in. We're not doing this. Keep your back straight. Bend your knees. Back straight. Bend your knees. Good. Keep it up. Keep it up. I'm watching. Who's got the best ones here? Corey, you gotta bend those knees a little deeper, lady. Lily, you gotta bend those knees a little deeper. Come on, bend them. Oh, there we go. Lily, you got it. Yeah, there you go. Nice job, nice job. We got 10 seconds. Go a little faster. 10, 9. All right, we're going into jump switches. Boom, jump, jump, go, get some air. Come on, faster, go. Five, four, three, two. One, and it's it to you, sir. Awesome. By the way, while I have you guys, who's never done 
nunchucks before? Who's this? Is the first time picking up a nunchuck? Okay. I don't think we have very many. Do we have any? That's brand new. Just uh, Ashley. Okay, just a couple of people. Okay. So when we're using our nunchucks, just a reminder for those of you guys who have not used nunchucks very often, you don't grab at the bottom unless you're really just going to swing in and hit something really hard, right? That's the only time you really grab at the bottom. But if you've got to use your nunchucks to change direction or do anything fancy, we don't want to grab it at the bottom. If you're going to do a lot of really fancy tricks and stuff, you hold it near the top. That's where you'll be able to do your hand rolls and your passes and all that stuff. But for most of what we want to do, and for what we're going to do right now, you want to hold your chuck right in the middle, okay? Get into a good stance there, hold it up. Hold it in your dominant hand to start. Are you guys ready? Yes, sir. All right, we're going to get the nunchuck going, and we're going to treat it today a little bit like we're going to do some nunchuck spar. okay? A couple of months ago, before all this happened, I got a chance to go down and test Master Young at Exclusive Martial Arts for his uh, six-degree black belt, okay? And he's been working really hard, but he got to do some nunchuck sparring, and, and we were working on that. So I wanted to share some of that with you guys today. So everybody good attention. Yes, sir. Bow courtesy. We're going to start with our figure eight. So everybody step back. We're going to say, yeah. Now you want your best hand forward. So normally we would put our best hand back. But today I want you to put that front hand forward. All right. Now we're going to get a figure eight going. So you're going to draw an X with your nunchuck. In and out, in and out, left and right. You guys got it. Yep. In and out. You guys remember how to do that? It's been a while for some of you. There you go. Good. Now, if you've got your figure eight going, we don't spar standing still, do we? Get your movement going now. So start moving with it. Good. Start moving. Move how you would if you were sparring. If you're going to go forward, you slide forward. Go into the right, you slide to the right. Keep that figure eight going. Keep it going. Good. Now, what's my other hand doing? My hand's up by my face. Just like when we do our sticks, this other hand is my sacrifice hand. It's my catching hand. In fact, you ready to use it? Catch it right by your belt. Figure eight, moving around. Catch right by your belt. Figure eight, you can keep circling a little bit. Catch right by your belt. Figure eight, catch. Figure eight, catch. Keep it up, keep it up. You guys got it, keep moving with it. Boom, catch. Now, you didn't get in this to, to just stand here, right, and catch your nunchuck. Let's do a strike with it. So from here, we're going to strike at an angle across and catch by your belt. So one more time, I'm going to go figure eight, catch right by your belt. And now remember, whenever we strike with a nunchuck, we never strike straight down and we never strike straight across. If I strike straight down and hit something, it's going to come back, it's going to hit me in the head, okay? If I strike straight across, what's it going to do? It's going to come back and hit me in the head, right? So when I do my strikes, it's going to come out at an angle, okay? So everybody do it with me. Hold your nunchuck right by your belt. Ready? Strike. Ah! Think about it. Just if we were standing here and I was having to throw back this, that's how fast this has to be. Ready, and go. Ah! Good. A little faster. Catching it by your belt for this one. How's the other way you can do it? You can come across. We can catch underneath our arm, and we'll do that one in a second. But for now, strike and catch. Ready? And ah! Go a little faster. Ready? And go ah! Okay. So now I want you to move around. Figure eight, catch. Strike and catch. Go back to your figure eight. Move it around. Think about your sparring. Think about you had a partner there. You're going to catch, strike. Come right back to figure eight. Catch, strike. Back to figure eight. Catch, strike. Back to figure eight. Now, catch, come out the other way, strike, and catch underneath your armpit. Or you can figure eight and catch under your arm and strike that way too. So keep it going. Figure eight, catch under your armpit. Strike and catch. Figure eight, catch by your belt. Strike and catch. Figure eight, strike and catch. Boom, strike and catch. Keep moving with it now. If you find yourself with your feet standing still, start moving. Start moving. Boom. If it's too easy, are you moving? Good. Boom. Catch. Strike. Catch. Keep it up. Nice. Good chuck skills. I like it. 
You guys are like Michelangelo. If you don't know who Michelangelo is, I feel bad for you. Better look it up. You got time on your hands. All right, keep moving. Catch, strike, catch. Back to catching, yes, sir. Beautiful, bow courtesy. All right, we're gonna come back to nine shots here in a little bit, but we gotta do that same thing we were just doing on the right. What do we gotta do? We gotta do it on the left. Remember how to pass? Who can show me a good pass? Show me a couple passes. How are we gonna get it from our right hand to our left hand? Show me, ready, go. No, let's see. We don't go that way. How are we gonna do it? Like an over the shoulder pass, that'll work. What about a behind the back pass? Good. All right, there you go. So now I want you to get it into your left hand. Get your figure eight going on your left side. Keep it going, figure eight, figure eight. You got it, my friends, keep it going. Keep it going, catch by your belt. Strike, catch underneath your arm. Strike, catch underneath your arm or catch by your belt. Now see if you can do it just like we did on the right where we were moving, striking and catching. Do it on the left, figure eight, strike, catch, strike. Bring it up, keep it going. Only work in that left hand now, keep it going, keep it going. I'm watching, who's got the best ones? We've got the best ones. Keep it up. Keep it up. All right, you got another 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, four. Keep it going. Keep it going. Three, two, and attention. Yes, sir. Let's see who's got the best of the intentions. Way to snap. I like it. Take your chucks, set them off to the side just for a moment. We're going to play with a little sparring combination using our round kicks, and then we're going to come back to nunchucks for the last 10 minutes of class, and we're going to split our class up a little bit, and uh, Mr. Thompson's going to take some of you guys, okay? But from here, everybody nice and fast. Go attention. Yes, sir. Now, when we're working our sparring, we usually throw a lot of punches and kicks. We're going to work some kicking combinations today. So we're going to step back and say, yeah! All right. We got to first, we got to work on closing distance. So everybody start moving with me. Everybody start bouncing. Start moving. Here's what I want you to do. We're going to lead in with a round kick, with a front leg round kick. We're going to lead in with a slide. So when we go, we're going to close that distance by picking our leg up and throwing that round. Everybody do it with me. It doesn't matter which leg you're going to lead with, just your front leg. Ready? And slide in kick. Ready? One. Now, once I've closed that distance and they're standing there, now I'm going to hit them again. So I'm going to pop right up. I'm going to throw one more round kick. Same leg. And now I'm going to follow with a back leg round kick. Okay, good. So I threw three round kicks in a row there. So one more time, coming in, I'm closing the distance by doing a sliding round. Ready to go, slide round. Now, I've got my opponent there. They just went, ah, right? So now I'm gonna pop up, I'm gonna kick him again. Boom, round kick. And then, as they kind of fade away, I'm gonna follow through with that knockout. Boom, round kick. Good, okay, one more time. Ready, moving around with it. Everybody start bouncing. We're gonna lead in with our front leg technique. So you're gonna slide in round, ready? And slide round, ready, go, round. Bump up, round. Back leg, round, ah! Good, good, slide back, slide back, one more time. Everybody start bouncing. Get ready, we're gonna slide in with the round. Ready, go, slide in round. Good, pop up, round. Follow back and ground. Ah! Beautiful, beautiful. Come on back, come on back. Start moving with it. It's a race. I want to see who the fastest person is. When I say go, kick, kick, kick. Fast as you can. Are you guys ready? Yes, sir. All right, I'm looking for who's going to be the fastest and the loudest. Ready? And go. One, two, three. Oh, we got the Eldridge ladies. They're doing pretty well in there. Way to get those kicks up a little higher. One more time. Mr. Sam's kicking higher than you guys. Ready? Slide it in. Round, round, back and round. Ready and go. Slide up, round, round, round. Good, good. Bring it back, bring it back. One more time. A little faster this time. Ready? You got to close that distance quick with that front leg round. Ready? Slide in, go round. Pop up round. Back and round, ah! Good, good, good. Last time. Are you guys ready, yes sir? All right, as fast as you can. 
Slide up round, pop up round, back to ground. You gotta make it quick. Looking for the leader here. Who's it gonna be? Raise your hand, say me, sir. Oh, come on, I don't believe you people. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I don't think you guys are ready. I don't think you guys are ready. I think the Ruelas family, I think the Ruelas boys are taking you all on right here, right now. Ready? Joey, Jacob, Aaron, you guys got them? Let's do it, ready? Ready, on your marks, you're doing sliding round, pop up round, back up round. Ready and go, round, 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 Ah! Woo, not bad, slow back, slow back, slow back. This time, I don't want you to go as fast as you can. I still want you to kick as fast as you can, but you're gonna wait, and you're gonna wait for me to hold my hand up. So, ready, we're gonna start moving. Ready, I want you to throw your round kick, boom, round kick, go. Pop up round kick, go. Back with round kick, go. Good, one more time. You're kicking into my hands here, one more time. Ready, front leg round, ready, slide up round. Good, ready, pop up round. Good, back with round. Good, there you go. So sometimes we don't always want to be the fastest one. Sometimes we want to tempo it out a little bit. So sometimes we go slide. And then we wait a second, and then we kick, and then we follow with the kick. So one more time, I want you to do a slide, boom. And then do a front, and then a back as fast as you can. Ready? Slide in, round, ready, go, slide round, boom. Now ready, front and round, go, back and round, go. Beautiful, beautiful. One more, ready? You're gonna slide in on me, come get me, ready? And slide up round. Oh, you didn't get me, start moving with it, start moving with it. Ready? You're gonna use your front leg and then your back leg, ready? Go, front round, back round. Nice, good, start moving around, start moving around. This time I want you to throw all three moves. You gotta bounce with me, you gotta turn, you gotta turn, you gotta keep moving. Ready, and all three, go! Round, round, round. Nice, good, keep moving, keep moving, hands are up. Ready, round, 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 ready, and go, one. Two, three. You got it, you got it. Last one, everybody say last one. Everybody say fastest one. Everybody say best one. All right, ready? You got three of the best round kicks you've ever thrown right here. Ready and go. One, two, ow! Awesome, that's attention, yes sir. Bow courtesy. All right, we're gonna split us up here. We did this yesterday in our Black Belt Club class. It was fairly painless. So half of you or so are going to go with Mr. Thompson, and half of you are going to stay with me. Mrs. Stites is going to do that now. Do you have the upper belts? Well, hello, can you guys see me? Can you guys hear me? Father, can you hear me? Okay, you guys got your nunchuck, yes sir? All right, so we are going to work, by the way, you guys are the upper belts, Mr. Thompson took the lower belts to do a little beginner nunchuck stuff. So we're gonna go a little bit faster with you guys because you guys have done nunchuck before. Like I said, we're gonna work single chuck today and then we're gonna get us a double starting next week, okay guys? Everybody attention, yes sir, bow courtesy. All right, we were starting already with our figure eights, so let's get our figure eights going. Get your figure eight going. Get your figure eight going. Can you guys see me? Is everybody, Mrs. Stites, can you guys see me? Hello, is everybody going? Figure eight. Hello? Figure eight. Figure eight. Hello? 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 Stop. Stop. Okay, I can't. Stop. 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 Well, I guess, sorry. So we might have lost you. Oh. Hold on, we're out of technical difficulties. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but hold on. Sorry. I don't. Please enjoy this musical interlude. Try. 
Oh, there we go. Keeps jumping. Okay, try it now. Hello, can you guys see me? Hello? Aaron? Christine? No? Alex? No. I don't know. All right, I can close it all and just put everybody back. Do you want me to just close it all? Please. Let's see. I think everybody, we all got put back in the same class. Hello. Can, I, can you guys see me now? Hello. Hello. Can you guys see me now? Hello. Okay. I'm back. Did we lose you guys for a minute? Everybody went back to you. I don't Sorry about that. We had a technical difficulty. Can you guys see me though? All right. Everybody go to attention. Yes, sir. We're back. Bad courtesy. All right, get your chuck out there. Just one today, like I said. All right, and let's get that figure eight going, and let's get some passing going. We're just going to do a quick review, and some stuff we can do with double nunchucks, some things we can't do with double nunchucks. Like, if we have double nunchucks going, we can't work passes. So we're going to spend a little time working on our, our passes today, getting from our nunchuck from one hand into the other. So from your figure eight here, I want you guys to work underneath. And we're going to bring it over the shoulder. Let go with the top hand, catch it over the shoulder. Okay, this is an over the shoulder pass. This should be review for everybody, right? So we're bringing it up, catching it up and over. Let go with the top, bring it up and over. Let go with the top, bring it up and over. If you've got it to where you can do it, get it smooth. We need some smoothness. You gotta be able to do it without stopping. You wanna be able to do this without miss catching, where you go, oh no, I missed it, right? You wanna get it right into your hand, catch it every time, okay? Now, when you're doing your passes, if you have that hand waiting for you, it'll be there almost every time. If you wait, you get it over, and then you try to grab it, it's harder to get. So keep it going. Get it going a little faster. Let's go a little faster. Come on. And if you can do it standing still, you should be able to do it moving too, right? Just like when you do gup gup or any other thing, start moving with it, start walking. Can you do this going down to your knee? Oh, I don't know, can you? What you got? What you got? Coming up, boom, coming up, keep it up. Nice, there you go. Okay, let's vary it up a little bit. Go behind your back now. So when you bring it over, you bring it right down the middle of your back. Bring it up right down the middle of your back. Okay, see how we're doing that? My hand's coming behind me now. You guys got it, good. Now don't fear your nunchuck, right? Don't be going, ah, I'm afraid of it. Put it where you want it to go, and it'll go there for you, right? But if you're ducking in and trying to hide from it, you're going to be smacking yourself a bunch more. Good job. Good job on your chucks. Keep it going. We're going behind the back. All right. Now let's go behind the back. This is what I would call vertically. Now let's do it horizontally. So from here, you're going to bring it behind your back by your belt and up the other way. Behind your back, back by your belt, up the other way. Coming up. Coming up. How we doing? You guys got it? Behind the back. Good. Behind the back, that's an easy one. Good. Okay. Around the neck. Who remembers how to do around the neck? Got okay. a couple of ways to do around the neck. The really hard way, which you would think would be easy, is going back just behind your back and trying to do it that way. That's the hardest way because you got to kind of guess where that nunchuck's going to be. The easier way is to take your chuck, wrap it around across, and put the rope right on the back of your neck, okay? So when you come around, have that hand waiting for it. Bring it out on the other side, okay? Again, same time, it's like I'm giving myself a big hug. I'm gonna bring it up and across, catch, and bring it out. Up and across, catch, and back out. Good. Again, if you can do this standing still, can you do this moving? Can you do this dropping and coming up, okay? So that's another way to practice. Make sure you can do this smoothly both ways. All right, who's ready for the next challenge? Me, sir? Okay, between the legs. We did it earlier where we were passing the two nunchucks. Now you're gonna pass one. Coming through, catch on the other side. Bring it up. Coming through, catch on the other side. Bring it up, coming down. 
Coming down. If you want to make it a little more fancy, add a spin. Spin, drop, back up. Spin, drop, back up. Let's work. Okay, so we've got over the shoulder, we've got behind the back vertically, we've got behind the back horizontally, we've got between the legs, we've got around the neck. That's a bunch of passes. I'm gonna say 30 seconds right here. No stopping, 30 seconds of freestyle passing. So you're gonna pass it from one side to the other side, back behind, back around. You can't repeat the same pass more than twice. You gotta do them all different ways every time. Are you guys ready, yes sir? All right, 30 seconds, no stopping. Ready and go, start passing, go. Bring it up, between the legs, bring it up, behind the neck. Keep it up, you don't have to wait for me. Keep it up over the shoulder. Boom, up around, behind the back. Two, between the legs, keep it up. Go around the neck, shoot. Behind the back, vertically. Oh, over top, between the legs, up around the neck. Drop it up over the shoulder, over the shoulder, behind the back. We got five, keep it going, four. Three, add a spin to everything. Spin, drop it behind. Spin, bring it up. Spin, around the neck. And one, back to touching, yes sir. Boom, not moving. Don't move. That's working, okay. One minute freestyle with your chuck here. So you can throw kicks, you can spin the chuck, you catch, bring it up, throw some strikes, do some passes, whatever you guys want to do. Are you guys ready, yes sir? All right, one minute, you got freestyle. Work both hands, okay? On your marks, single chuck freestyle. Get set, go, start spinning that chuck. Get it going, go, up and over. Figure eight, catch, boom, bring it up. Catch behind, throw it around. Mix it up, keep those jump kicks going. Awesome, boom, bring it around the neck. Throw the strikes between the legs, keep it up. Nice figure eights, holy cow, man, you guys got some talent, holy cow. All right, nice work, keep it going. We haven't even worked on your hand spins today. And we'll work on those a little bit too as we go over the next couple weeks. Keep it going, keep it going. Side to side, hips, catch, roll it over, figure eight. We got five, come on, faster, four, three. We're gonna end with a jump split kick, are you ready? Bring your nunchucks together, bring them up. Jump split kick, three kick. Hi Back to attention, yes sir. And why would we end with a jump split kick, you ask? Why not? Why not? That is the answer. That is the answer, okay? You guys did awesome today. Give yourselves a little nunchuck round of applause. In golf, they have the golf clap. In martial arts today, we have the nunchuck, the nunchuck clap. You guys did awesome today. So again, we have our drive-through belt for graduation. We had it tonight. Again, congratulations to you guys who got your belts. We have tomorrow from five to six, and then we have Saturday morning from 9 a.m. till 11 a.m. Come see us. Make sure you guys get those belts. We've got t-shirts on sale, sweatshirts on sale. Um, if you need another pair of nunchucks, we had a bunch of people need a second pair of nunchucks because you're new to Master Club. Make sure you guys get that because we will start on those next week. Um, I think that is it. Awesome job today, guys. Um, this will be recorded so you can go back through and do everything that we did. You do it again a couple times. I will see you guys for Cage Fitness in the morning. And then Saturday morning, we've got a basic class. We've got a weapons class. We're playing with some nunchucks. Have all your weapons ready for that weapons class. That's going to be up to Mr. Thompson. Whatever he's feeling like teaching that day, you guys will get to learn, which is kind of fun when you have an instructor that gets to kind of just play because that's when you really get to do some cool stuff. So Saturday morning, have your nunchucks, have your sticks, have your commas, have your bow staff, have them ready for that weapons class. And then we'll tell you what you're going to do when you guys come for that class. And then uh, we've got tricks and flips after that. Okay? You guys, awesome. Everybody, attention. Yes, sir. Bow, courtesy. Everybody in a position say, sir. Now, if we did some stuff today and you were getting a little frustrated, okay, maybe it's your first day picking up a nunchuck and I was going a little fast, we have some nunchuck basic tutorial stuff on our app. Okay? Also, go back through and do this class again. Okay, and practice some of the things that we did a little faster and take your time. Okay, you guys can always go back through and do some of these drills again and do them a little bit slower until you got it. Right, you really want to practice these passes and get them until you can get them 
without missing, maybe 10, 15, 20 times in a row without missing, okay? That's a good goal to have. You guys do that, yes sir? Awesome, Good attention, yes sir? Bow courtesy, we do our black belt green dance? I don't think we do. Hands behind your back. And black belt green, as a dedicated student of the martial arts, I will live my life by the principles of black belt. Modesty, courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self-control, and indomitable spirit. We missed you guys, you guys are doing awesome. We're happy to see you. Good attention, yes sir. Bow courtesy. And position, sir. Personal achievement is the best, sir. Awesome. Uh, Astro Dude, we will see.